Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Stray. In today's video, we're going to be going over some secrets that you can find in the first main explorable area that you'll discover upon playing the game. And I have been having so much fun with this game. It's just so unique and different, and I absolutely love it. And I do hope you all love the secrets that I have to share today. Now, once you talk to the garden, you initiate this kind of area where you need to discover the outside. Um, we can explore this area a little bit more, and there's a lot of secrets that you can find within this game. And I think that's one of my favorite things is discovering secrets in the game. And one of the first ones we're going to do is show you how to get the Super Spirit Detergent. And it's really interesting how this works, actually. If we go down this alleyway here, uh, what we need to do is we need to actually get up to the upper levels of this building. And you can do that by hopping up this area here. Up these little AC units. I don't know why the robots need AC. But we're going to go interact with this person that's throwing paint across this little alleyway here. We're just going to talk to this dude. It's Vapora. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Let's hit Y on them first to initiate it. And then as they're tossing this paint up, we want to meow. Which will cause them to drop the paint down below. And then it's going to be a super grumpy robot that appears from the little laundry place. This is going to allow us to get into that area now. And the thing that I love most about this is that there's so many of these little things that you can discover in the game. Like, what happens if we talk to Vapora now? Oops. <laughs> I was hoping there was going to be more dialogue than that, but all we got to do is hop down from here now. And what we can do is we can head into this area. What does this person got to say? I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh, it's great. So within here, if we go around this corner, you're going to see the super spirit detergent. We can absorb this with our little robot dude. Now, after acquiring the detergent, if you head back to where the guardian is and turn right, there's actually going to be a little ball here, and if you knock that ball into this little basket, you get an achievement for it. But we're going to take this spirit detergent, and we're going to trade it in for this electric cable. Now that we've acquired the electric cable, there's a certain special somebody that we can give this cable to to get a special item. Now that we have that cable, if we go from the Guardian, we want to run down this alleyway right here. And then we're going to turn this corner. And we're going to turn this corner, and then right back here is a lovely little lady at the shop. And if we talk to her, she wants an electric cable. So we can show her the item, and we're going to give her this one. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Perfect. And she's going to knit us a nice little jacket. There, we now have the poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to wear this poncho, but it will come in handy for something that you need to do later in the game, so just keep that in mind. Now, for those achievement hunters out there, if you head back to where we had the robot drop the paint and hop up onto this building, we're going to jump across here, and we want to get over to this little couch. And if we hop up here and hop up here, we can get on the couch, and if we keep pressing this button... We're actually going to cycle through the channels on this TV. And if you uh, continue to do this enough, you're going to get an achievement. There it is. So I think it's about six or seven times, maybe a couple more times than that. And you'll get the Telly a Cat or Chat achievement. And there's a lot of those little secret achievements that if you do something enough, like you can meow a hundred times and get an achievement for that as well. Now, next up, we're going to go over all of the different energy drink uh, locations that you can get in the slums. And the first one is through this vending machine right here. You're just going to go up to it, interact with it, and it'll pop out one of those energy drinks. These are essentially currency in the game. Then the next one we're going to get is around this corner. We're going to run past where that person dropped the paints. And we're going to head all the way to the back and then up around this corner. There is a memory here for you to access, so don't forget to do that. We're going to interact with this bad boy, pop out one of them energy drinks, and then we're off to the next one. Now, from this location, we're going to go right around this corner, and I know there's, there's a couple different ways that you can get up to this spot. 
But essentially what we want to do is come around here and we're going to hop up this and then inside of here is another vending machine. Why they can be operated by cats without money, I don't know. Now for the last energy drink, we need to basically get above where we are now. So we can jump down from here and we can climb up this. I love how there's like so many different ways you can get up to different locations. Uh, there's just so many tra traversable objects. And we want to get right over there. So we're just going to hop right across this. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is the last energy drink available in this location. Now, if you head back to where the Guardian is, there's going to be a pretty interesting secret that you can get back here. And actually, I had this spoiled for me during my live stream, but on this safe right here is going to be a little note. And then we have to solve a puzzle to be able to unlock the safe to get the item inside. Now, once you have that note, if you actually want to go through the process of doing this, you take that note back through here, and we need to take it to somebody called Elliot. And what we do is we go back through this alleyway, and then on this door, if you hit Y on it, we can scratch on this, and somebody will kindly open the door for us. And this is actually how we get to Elliot, uh, which is a couple different things that we can do in here. Now, if we go up these stairs, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to Elliot and you're going to show him the note that was on that safe. And it's going to tell you uh, that it translates to Duff Bar, which means we got to go to the bar now. Now, if you run back downstairs, you're going to need to scratch on the door again to have this little dude actually let us back out. Once free, we get to head to the bar, which is just a left turn right around here. And then in through this door is the bar. Now, if we hop up on top of this little stool, we can interact with this painting. And behind that is the code 1283, which we can use to open the safe. Now, armed with this knowledge, if you run back to the safe, you'll be able to punch in those numbers. And inside the safe will be your first music sheet, which will kind of put you on this little side quest to find a bunch of the music sheets that we can give to this robot right here. If you talk to this robot, you can give them, or not necessarily give them, but you can show them the music sheets that you find throughout the world, and then they'll play you a nice little tune, which is pretty sweet. Now, there are eight of these. I haven't found all of them yet, but if you do want uh, a video going over all the different music sheet locations, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button, show the video some love, because it really does help out with these new series whenever we go to play something new and provide new tutorials for it. Uh, but thank you all so much. I've been absolutely loving Stray. Make sure to keep an eye out for future uh, Stray live streams and videos in the near future. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.